To say Sims 4 map screens have gone through a very long, hard, tough time is an understatement. This is an image I found on Google of the original Sims 4 base game maps. This was even before Newcrest existed. This was what Willow Creek looked like, absolutely atrocious. And this is what Oasis Springs looked like, even more atrocious. You don't know what's going on. Even then, when you look at the map screen now, it's incredibly useless because it actually looks nothing like the world. Like if we go in this top right, Right area here. All we see are five lots with like a long transparent path between them. But then when you actually go into the area itself, you can see here like it doesn't really look like that. It literally looks nothing like it. And it really does not give you an idea of what houses look like in the world once you built them. I would say Newcrest is probably the worst, ugliest looking one. <laughs> Like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I could have made this in Microsoft Paint in five minutes myself. I mean, if I click on this top area here that just looks like five square blobs. Look at it in the actual game. These five blobs do not look like blobs anymore. It actually looks nice. But you wouldn't know this. You wouldn't know there was a nice little river here if you didn't actually click down and go into it. So now I present you with this. Absolutely stunning. This is an exact like-to-like -like replica of the actual world in the map screen. I mean, the best map screens are The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 because you can actually zoom in and interact with it and go around anywhere out of grass. Taking a look at the original map screen, it shows literally nothing. Look at this little boat right in the middle. Look at that little boat in the middle there. It seems to be like a strong bit of land that goes between it. But then this doesn't show that. This shows a little, I don't know, not an island, but a little bit here with no boats. And then when you actually click to go in, you'll see that exact area area on the right over here. Yeah, in the original map screen, they make out it's not there. It is so frustrating when you're trying to build and you don't know where everything is because there is a lot and you do forget very often. But this is honestly incredible. And do you know what I really love, right? This is what I really love. Oasis Springs. I'm going to show you the original one. Do you know what I hate about this? The entire thing looks like a desert. So you think you're getting a desert wherever you live in the game. But this is what it actually looks like. Like this grassy bits here and there's grassy bits here but you wouldn't know that. This is what the map screen should have been. And you cannot tell me otherwise. You literally cannot tell me otherwise. Now you are going to cream yourself when you see Newcrest. Look how much better that is. Literally look at it. I'm being so aggressive. Look at it. <laughs> it's like when new dog owners, their dog poos themselves on the floor and they go, look at it. Look what you did. As if they're going to understand. <laughs> Doesn't this look so much better? And see, this honestly inspires me to do building in the Sims 4 again. Did you hear my knuckle click then? That was quite painful. It makes me want to build. It really does make me want to build because it looks more alive and I feel like when I place builds down it's like an achievement. Like bloody hell, look at what I just did in this nice looking world. This is Magnolia Promenade. Again, just look at it. I'm not even going to say, I am going to say it's something because I can't stop chatting shit. But just look at it. It is a true representation of the world itself. This is Sam Myshuno. This this one is a little bit chaotic, I'll be brutally honest. I think Sam Myshuno was already quite chaotic, but still it does very much give you a better representation of what the map should actually look like. This is Forgotten Hollows, and again it just looks a lot more high res and detailed, and it makes a lot more sense. This is what Tartosa looks like, it actually looks really nice in the sunset, do you know what I mean? And it actually feels like the world that you see when you actually go in there. Copperdale as well has got a bit of an improvement. Again, and this literally looks a lot more like Copperdale. Like if you just look at the original map here, how bland it kind of looks. And then you compare it to this one. It just feels a lot more crisp and it feels like a proper world in the game. Moonwood Mills has been redone. I love the way this one looks. I think it looks really, really cool. It's like a watercolor piece. Even Granite Falls, guys, that one old pack that none of us ever use, that's been done proper nice. Salvadorada, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely love this one with a passion. The crater is called 20th Century Plum Bob. They are all free. The best thing is there are actually different variations. So this is the new one. This is just a GIF showing 
how it looked in the past versus actually how it looks now with the new update. And this is it in daytime. But this here is a nighttime version. So with some maps, you can choose between daytime versus nighttime. Same with Moonward Mill. That's the original one and that's the nighttime one. But this is also a daytime one. So he's actually done two separate ones depending on how you like it. If you want like a more darker looking world or if you want a lighter looking one. He hasn't actually completed every single map yet. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of maps. These are all the ones apparently and the ones highlighted in blue are the ones that he's done. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me where I get my Bone Hilda dancing loading screen mod from. Well, this is where I got it from. This creator who creates all the funny little loading screen mods. These days, I'm starting to get back into doing a few more mod reviews. Like I used to do them a lot, but then I stopped because I used to get a lot of angry comments. Console players can't get this. This is disrespectful. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I'll stop doing mod reviews then. But then now recently I've started getting back into them again because I don't care. I know console players can't get them and it's not very nice, not very fair, but there are a lot of PC players who can get them. And Sims 4 packs are very expensive and it's nice to have new updated content that's free. Sometimes I do upload mod reviews later than a lot of other YouTubers and that's because I only really cover them if they're free available for public access because I know a lot of people cover mods but the mods are only available for early access on Patreon that you have to pay for. And I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to do a mod review and you guys get excited and then you go to download it and you can't because you have to pay for it. That's why my mod reviews always come out really, really late. But I just wanted to highlight something nice that I found. I think you guys will appreciate this, especially for a builder and you're looking around for what kind of worlds that you want to build in. I think it's going to be something that's going to be really useful to you. It's going to be definitely really useful to me. And I can't wait until the creator does every single world in the game so that they all look completely perfect. It's making me want to go back to my world save as well because I did a world save, but I haven't bothered completing it. But it's inspiring me to go back and complete it because I can see the world a lot better and it's a lot less overwhelming. I recently did a review of the daycare mod, which is bloody insane. One of my favorite mods. Also, the real estate mod, if you're into that, was absolutely impeccable too. So make sure you check out one of those two videos if you'd like. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.